Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Um, bit, I'm a bit rusty, you know, haven't made a video in a while, um, but here we go. Um, Velo Data, it is, I love this website, you know, made by BitHedge, um, it's amazing. Um, over here, this is what I mainly look at over here. Um, I want to see how high the premiums are on the futures. Um, that That is what, you know, uh, is the most important to me. Um, you know, you can basically using this, you can use, you can time tops and bottoms. And if it's at zero, you know, you buy quarterly futures, it's always free money. Um, that has been, you know, my go-to thing, I think the last, you know, since 2017, basically. Um, if this is a premium, you know, or, uh, at parity, you know, or even at a discount, you know, you, you buy it, you buy, simple as that. Um, anything else interesting here? Yeah, Bybit, you know, is second in high, uh, open interest. Uh, a lot of high left pro traders over here. It's never financial advice in these videos of mine. Um, just so you know, um, anything else interesting here? This is kind of like return by session. Um, it's pretty funny, you know, to see EU, EU is not doing that much lately. US and APEC is uh, where it's at. Um, Anything else interesting here? Not really. Let's take a look at the open interest. Uh, open interest is really something uh, we pay attention to. Um, back in 2017, open interest would get wiped every time it would get above one billion dollars uh, on Bitmax. Um, and you know it. <clears throat> how to say it? Um, Open interest, you know, if everybody's long, you know, uh, we get wicks to the downside. If everybody's short, you know, we get wicks to the to the upside. Um, that's just how the market works. Um, it's just something to pay attention to. Uh, if open interest is high, um, those things tend to happen a bit more. Um, so that's why we look at that. Um, this is what I look at. You know, this screen I always have open. Uh, just looking for correlations always. Um, stuff that's happening, news events, whatever you may want to call it. Um, and you know, we saw Peter Schiff basically calling the top here. Um, he's always uh, a bit salty uh, about BTC. But um, yeah, Ethereum very weak compared to BTC. Uh, we will dive into that later. Um, for now, not that much interesting over here. Um, this is what I look at, I compare um, Bitmax, for example, to Coinbase. Bitmax used to be um, yeah, the go-to place to check such things uh, really gave the best market data that wise. Binance as well. Um, and we basically want to see all this red, basically meaning Coinbase has a premium that is bullish. Um, over here we have a really nice template of um, 52k skew um, or skew. Um, love that guy. I look at the CVDs here. Perp CVDs, uh, spot and perp, and the liquidations. Uh, I love the liquidations over here. Um, Velo data. Let's use these templates over here. BTC, we're at BTC. Um, aggregated funding is what we like to look at. What do we like to look at else? No, let's let's use this. It's fine. Um, Zoom out. How much data is there in this? Not enough yet. I want to zoom out a little bit more. Um, let's go to BTC over here. Do we have the Bitstamp one? Uh, it's not the best. It's the oldest, but Bitstamp, you know, is uh, volume-wise not the best. And we can see over here the obvious resistance coming up. Basically, this for a daily close, 47k. Um, we broke this one, you know, very important level. Of course, you broke this one as well. But this is the range we're dealing with right now. Time to zoom in. This is where we're in between, between 33 and 47, basically. But let's use some fresher data. And over here, you know, um, we're just in a complete send. For now, you could say, you know, um, basically where volume is at, that's support. Simple as that. So here, you know, or we use some tops and bottoms. Um, a lot of people would short it towards here, 42k area. Um, 
And if everybody's shorting that, we get fuel to go to 47. So that is how we look at stuff. Or how I look at stuff. Um, really nice here as well. Ne really nice grind up. Higher lows all the time. Higher lows all the time. Nice trend line break. Over here. Can see there were clear eyes. Um, but yeah, let's go to the lower time frame. What we see over here is basically this low. And for now, we want to see a trend line break. Something like this. Very simple. I like this one more. Something like this. Sorry for my voice, guys. Um, <clears throat> something like this little channel uh, happening over here. Um, this one, you know, over here, there will be a lo lot of stops below it. Um, will probably be a little wick. Um, but if it's good, you know, we don't get it. Because like I said, <clears throat> a lot of people will try to short it to this area. Because a lot of stops will be under this area. These areas are basically, you know, where stops are at. And the same happens for basically this one, you know, would be on a small time frame, a lower high, a higher high, sorry, higher high. Um, and this one, and then this one. And if this one breaks, it's uh, really quickly to 47k, I think. Um, so that is where it's at. Wicks, you know, can you, you can expect, you know, below here. Uh, below here, below here. Um, but the best pain, you know, would be people who would, you know, bet on a on a, on a, um, a long liquidation candle a little bit. Um, <clears throat> you know, if they don't get it, they get keep squeezed, squ squeezed, squeezed. Because for now, you know, we don't have any pullbacks. We barely seen any pullbacks for what is it? The last month since here, you know. We haven't seen any pullbacks at all, like nothing. Look, all these higher higher lows here as well, higher lows every time. We've never put in uh, an, um, uh, we've never put in a, an, uh, a lower uh, low, for example. You know, just full cent. And you know, at the beginning of a bull market, it's always uh, BTC leading the way, and this causes pain for certain people like me. Um, because Ethereum has been lagging a lot. Ethereum has been lagging a lot. This is it for Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum is still just at uh, 22, like something. 23 we touched yesterday uh, or last night. But this is what we're looking at for Ethereum. Really bullish. Really good. Really good looking this. But you know, in comparison to BTC, it is not. We broke this. This is very good. Um, next level for Ethereum big level i would say is um over here at three and a half k and um you know it should start traveling there but the thing is ethereum btc is weak and at the beginning of a bull market you know we always always see btc leading the way and then it takes a couple of months before ethereum comes into play um, and after that um you know, this is huge support over here. Um, after that, um, the rotation game begins. And then um, it's all, um, you know, first Ethereum. And after Ethereum uh, comes, um, comes uh, <clears throat> the shit coins, basically. Oh, what did I do? I'm a boomer, guys. I'm sorry. And I'm Dutch, you saw that correctly. Um, yeah, so Ethereum, weak, weak, weak. Ethereum BTC, weak. Just very weak. I don't like trading fuel for drawing stuff. Um, you might see that already. Um, OGs, mainly use, and for, for technical analysis, I prefer, uh, prefer um, um, Bitcoin Wisdom. Bitcoin Wisdom is the best. Um, over here, you know, this little uh, line here should be support as uh, for uh, for Ethereum BTC. Uh, this low, you know, we do not want to break it. Resistance, you know, should be over here. Um, we just want to see some higher lows for now. 
Um, if this is the low and over here we can make a higher low, it would be great. I'm not thinking we can get it. Um, a lot of pain right now in Ethereum. Um, I'm trading Ethereum, um, focused on Ethereum right now. Um, and I'm long uh, BTC on quarterly futures. Um, but scalping, I try to do it now on Ethereum. Uh, being a bit salty, you know, um, missed out on a lot of gains on, on BTC, for example, scalping wise. Um, my bags are full of Ethereum and BTC. Um, and that is about it already. Um, fundings, you know, very important. Um, I'm trading at Bi Bybit and I mean, the fundings are very much in check in Bybit. Um, here as well, token margin, use the team margin. If you want to trade the long side, you could use maybe token margin because you need less leverage, you know, for the upside. Um, Bybit also offers unified, a unified trading account. So you can use your BTC as uh, also as um, for this one um, as a collateral. By the way, there's a, a Bybit signup link in the video description. It gets you two months um, of uh, discounts, 10% discounts on um, your fees. Always use limit uh, orders, guys. It saves you fees and um, we're here to make money, not to lose money um, spending on fees. And if you use my, um, my uh, signup link, you get some extra discounts and um, you're always welcome to, um, yeah, ask me questions, whatever. My DMs are always open. Um, I wish I could offer you guys more discount, but um, yeah, Bybit wouldn't let me. Um, so yeah, that is that. Um, I really asked them like, guys, I want to give it all back to my boys, but uh, they wouldn't let me. Uh, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and let me know if you like these videos, because then I will start it up all again. Um, exciting times ahead, and um, wait for this one to bottom and um, then it's free money trading Ethereum. The, <clears throat> the, the rotation will come, it's a matter of when, and remember, never financial advice. See you guys soon.